But we're going to begin with the number of new coronavirus cases continuing to climb 2690 over the past two days. So averaging out to 1300 a day state also reporting 46 more deaths. 15 of those coming from a vital records review. You can clearly see the trend right here with the seven day moving average. Three weeks ago, we averaged 775 new cases per day. Today, that number is more than 1300. And those numbers are coming as the state's top doctor said she advised Governor Whitmer on the benefits of a mask mandate in schools to slow the spread. Though from the looks of it, the governor has no plans to do that. Let's bring in Sean Lay with more on what Dr. Janae Caldoun had to say and how the governor's office is responding responding to it, Sean. And tonight, the governor's office responding this way, hammering home the point, saying that Dr. Caldoun is not calling for the state to have a school-wide uh, mask mandate in every classroom. She's recommending to the governor that masking up in classrooms for students and staff will slow down the spread of COVID-19. It raises a lot of questions here. One, is Governor Whitmer following the science? And why isn't she following the recommendation of Dr. Caldoun? Did you specifically recommend to the governor and to the director of HHS that we implement a mask mandate in schools? I have recommended that if a mask mandate were in place and it were followed, uh, it would likely decrease the spread of COVID-19 in schools. That's Michigan's top doctor, Dr. Janae Caldoun, the state's chief medical executive and chief deputy health director, revealing during a state Zoom COVID-19 update that she told Governor Whitmer if a mask mandate were in place in schools, it would likely decrease the spread of COVID-19 and that fast spreading Delta variant. Caldoun was then asked, has the governor given her an explanation why she is not following Caldoun's recommendation? In a stunning statement, Dr. Caldoun, who Governor Whitmer has relied on throughout the pandemic, said an explanation was not in her lane. I cannot speak to that. I, I do know that my lane is to provide public health guidance, but I also recognize that there are many other things uh, that have to be considered when it comes to implementing a mandate. Dr. Caldoun was asked, can she explain what kind of things need to be considered when it comes to the safety of students and staff in school. I cannot at this time. I would defer to the director. The Health and Human Services Director is Elizabeth Hertel. There was an Elizabeth on the Zoom update. A reporter asked for her. Director on the line. Ms. Hertel. No answer was given. The update was ended. Now today we asked Governor Whitmer, we asked Dr. Caldoun and Health Director Hertel to interview with us here at Local 4. All the staff turned us down. The governor's office did write us, however, quote, school districts and local health departments should work together to put in place universal mask policies to keep students safe and ensure that in-person learning, ensure that in-person learning can continue this year. The state health department wrote me back not long ago saying they strongly recommend a universal mask policy in schools mandated at the district level. Devin, big picture here. One county executive spoke to me today saying this decision needs to come in his opinion from the governor's office one decision from one person instead he fears that there's going to be so many different policies across the state it's going to be very confusing back to you we will watch the developments as we draw closer to the start of the school year All right sean